tonight. Back to the future. 25 years later, why hasn't this Canadian's clean, green, hydrogen-fueled machine taken over the roads? Drive a hybrid? Think you're pretty smart? Well, your vehicle may be fuel efficient, but ahead of the curve? Sorry. That prize goes to Greg Vezina. 25 years ago, he found fame by getting his Chevy Impala to run on something he called hydrofuel. So what happened to Vezina and his Chevy? In tonight's Checking In, Pia Shadapadai finds out. Right, well, here we are. It's the first time I've been in this thing in about 10 years. Greg Vezina fancies himself a man ahead of the times, and he was 25 years ago. He retrofitted his 1981 Chevy Impala into a car for the future, fueled by what Vezina named hydrofuel, essentially ammonia, which is a mix of hydrogen with a little nitrogen. The exhaust was clean, and it was cheaper to run his car on hydrofuel than on gasoline. Even the energy minister of the day took it for a spin and said he liked it. So did the governor general. All in all, Vezina thought he had a winner. Within five years, assuming the government attitude towards the technology was proper, it would be available to the consumers. Yeah! Oh, Fast forward to today. Whoa! That's great. It's open. There's a the fuel of the future. 25 years of rust on it. Vezina's vehicle sits idle. It still starts, and Vezina still believes it's the cure for the world's energy woes. But he says shortly after his appearance on Parliament Hill back in 81, interest in his idea all but disappeared. Vezina speculates it's because the government owned Petro-Canada, so there wasn't much political will to develop alternative fuels. What do I say? I mean, you know, you can be right, but you've got to wait for history. And that's basically what happened to us. We were right. But history wasn't ready. The world wasn't ready. Today, nearly every major car maker is working on alternative fuel technologies, predicting consumers will be driving vehicles entirely powered by those technologies as early as six years from now. But many analysts say it will be many more years, perhaps as many as 30, before hydrogen-run cars will be clogging our highways because the technology is still so expensive. There's not enough money to support all of this development that's required. And thus, there is a viable role for government uh, to come in and to support some of these initiatives uh, to try to kickstart them to, to keep them going. As for Greg so Vezina, he's thinking of once again kickstarting his cell. project. Sorry, 25 years it's on, he says the dream's still alive, and it may be time to go back to the future again. Pia Chattopadhyay, CBC News, Toronto.